Hi, this is Ron Heinlein. I'm in my office and want to give you a little more update. Um, have a gentleman that I'm going to see Tuesday in Simi Valley. And like I've told you, any of you who are watching this in Los Angeles area, if you get a particular shoe that doesn't fit you, just talk to me. I'll come on over. I travel all over Southern California for the medical company, so it's no big thing. He was saying, Simi Valley from your place? I says, that's like crossing the street for me. So uh, we're glad to do that. But anyway, he uh, ordered a nine and a half. 9e in an athletic shoe and got it and it was way it was too tight for him it was way too tight for him so i asked him i says will you do the measurements and not everybody sends me orders with measurements but a lot of times afterwards we figure we let's get to the inches if you really want to make this successful let's get to the inches do it on our for our uh, on our home page on sizing techniques and video explains everything to you it takes two people to do it and again in the written uh, article i have down below is that you don't only have to do it once once you do it once we know unless you think your foot changes and then we go from that example i used to wear an eight and a half uh, to nine when i was in college i'm up to a 10 now and I'm quite a few years older than what I was in college. And my feet and all our feet change because of weight, because of age, because of uh, fallen arches, because of a lot of different situations, bunions that you never had before, hammer toes you never had before. You're now wearing a brace that you never did before. But you got to tell me this. Until we get to know you, you have to tell me this. And I do have people that will send me a size form. I will tell you exactly what size that I recommend and with. And, and not everybody buys. Not everybody buys. Some people think I'm full of hot air. But I'm going to tell you, everybody I've changed in. This guy, uh, Tuesday, he's going from a nine and a half to a ten and a half, and I'm bringing 11 as well. And I think he'll blow his mind because he's pretty open. I have some people, oh, no, no, I'm this size. I've been this size for 30 years. Yeah, yeah, I was a uh, nine uh 30, 40 years ago. I'm a 10 now, and I'm wider than what I was when I was wearing those nines. So be open, people. Be that you know your size. If you have any needs or any questions, just send the form to us. You click and it comes to me. I will answer it or the girls, but I normally answer it. I'll answer it. I'll send it back to you. Uh, I had one out of Dallas, so we spent two or three or four or five conversations. You know, and at his particular shoe, I was out of stock, but I could order it for him. Having four weeks, never heard a word from him. I don't go after you. I don't go to you chasing you. I just want to basically let you know what. When's the last time you had a braddock? When's the last time you were measured? We have 56 specialists in the, in the written article says that. And they use the same format. And they're very successful. 98% fitting. And this is what I'm trying to tell you. Do you know your true shoe size? I had one, again, another one. About two pair. Okay, I'm not a big fan if you first time out of the gate if you buy two pair, but I figured they probably knew what they're doing. Well, they returned both of them because they didn't fit. Well, after the conversation, and this person wasn't giving out a lot of information, and I'm not going to pry it out of you. And I don't email you and say, how are things going? We've got promotions here. We've got this. We've got that. If you need us, you'll come back to us, and we'll build a great relationship. So anyway, uh, sent it back, and then his note in the box was saying, I wear a brace and it doesn't work. Whoa, why didn't you tell me that at the beginning? Please communicate with me. And uh, I'll give you one more example. Simi Valley, uh, excuse me, um, Westlake. I went into Westlake. The gentleman did the same thing. Ordered, thought he knew what he wanted, what size he was and everything. And it turned out that, uh, I can't remember the numbers, but I think he was a 10. He ordered a 10-9E. Uh, found out we returned it. He wanted a brace. And again, we did the measurements, put him in 11. And wow, what a difference. I've got a guy in New Jersey that buys shoes from me all the time. Originally started at a 16. Now we've got him in a 17 and a 90 with, and he loves it. I mean, again, remember, we've got a lot of people just have normal whisk you know and that's great but need the important support you need the right fit but if you have doubts do you really know your shoe size and that's what i'm asking you right now and i'll keep this short keep this to the point again i'm not selling you i'm telling you we have an inches 
you don't have a Braddock. Most shoe stores don't even measure. There's some that are very good, some terrible. Got into department stores, and one, I'm not going to mention the name, just blew my mind. Uh, sitting there one day while my wife was shopping, watching. I love to sit in the shoe department and watch them. And this one used to be known for measurement, service, and everything. Whoa, has it changed a great deal? It's lay the shoes down there, and here it is, and so on. Well, yeah, now, like in LA, if there's a problem, I won't go there unless there's a problem because I can resolve it but everybody Cathedral City two three weeks ago went in there loves him now he's got three pair loves the shoes just said it's the greatest thing in the world he's gonna be doing a testimonial for me and whenever I have a chance in a couple of weeks so again use a soft tape measure takes two people the video you'll see me in the video will explain that Everywhere in the world, everybody's got a tape measure. I need inches, not metrics. Inches, please. Inches. I need inches. I know over, I've had it in South Africa, some other places, Australia, you know, where metric, I said, please do inches for me because I can convert it if you say metrics, but uh, inches is a little bit easier for us. But the thing is that it is one of the safest ways to measure in your foot. And I've got the text. You can text it to me, check the photo. I can see if there's edema, what we need, what kind of shoe I recommend, everything else from that aspect. So hopefully this helps you to be understand that communication is what it's all about. And we'll communicate with you. And the thing I always end on these videos is, please, you've got healthy feet and you don't need our shoes. You don't need that great support and comfort and everything else from that point. Yes, I do sell because I believe in our product. I apologize. I'm supposed to be educational video, but I get a little too enthused about it because I see how great this product's getting better, how we're growing and how we're helping a number of people. But please tell somebody else. If you know somebody's got severe hammer toes, bunions, edema, swelling, plantar fasciitis, flat feet, fallen arches, heel spurs, with between the free three sets of inserts and the shoes, we can make it like walking on a pillow, pillow with support and balance. So please tell people. And thank you for listening. Have a great, oh, well, this is the weekend. Have a great weekend. Have a great week. And I hope to hear from you or some of your loved ones or your family members.